Today we will show you how to use 3D Touch on Kingroon KP3S 3D printers. It is for KP3S with 103 and 303 mainboards. Firmware for 407 mainboards will be available soon. What we use today is a 3D Touch. Let's see what it contains. Some pins, ports, and screws. The 3D Touch is well protected in a foam. Two short cables. And the 3D Touch. We will use a printed box to install it. The short cables connect to one 3 pin port and one 2 pin port. But it is easy to tell. Since the cable is too short to use, we will use the extended cable instead. Here's a 3D touch installed in a box. You can download the files and print one. Then you can install it on the print head. On the right of it. Let's start. Turn the printer over. Loose and remove the screws. Remove the bottom cover. Disconnect the bottom fan. Check the MCU number carefully. Make sure it ends with 103 or 303. Release the extended cable. Use a screwdriver. Lose the cable wrapper. Put the cable in through the hole. You should put in the side with two ports. Drag and leave a proper length of cable. Tear apart the cable a little bit. Then connect the cables to the right ports. First. Connect the 3 pin cable to the J16 port. Make sure it's tight. Then the 2 pin cable. Connect it to the Z plus port. Make sure it's tight. Here is it. After that, settle the cables. Then put the wrapper back. Connect the bottom fan. Put the bottom cover back. Put all the screws back to settle the cover. Then tighten screws to fix it. Remember to do it diagonally. Once you finished, turn the printer over. Remove the screws. Take the print head cover off. Disconnect the motor cable. Put the 3D touch into the box you just printed. Make sure it is aligned well. Put two screws on the top and tighten them. 
Then put the cover on. Just install the box like this. Aim the screw holes. Put screws in through the print head cover. Tighten them to settle the box. Align the box well and tighten the screws to fix it. You should leave one block above on the print head cover. Here's it. Then connect the cable to the 3D touch. Put the cover back. Tighten the screws to fix it. And don't forget to connect the motor cable. Use some ties to settle the 3D touch cable. Make sure it has enough room to move up and down. Cut the ties. There's a using method in our project files. It will show you how to use the 3D touch as well. All the values you need has been explained. It shows you how to modify the configuration text. The configuration file has been prepared for Flash. Don't forget to use it. The only thing that needs to adjust is the Z probe offset. Find the selected files, copy them to the SD card. Connect the printer to the power cable. Put the SD card in, then turn on the printer. It will flash the firmware automatically. After that, the printer reboot automatically. Click, Auto Level. Then the auto bed leveling starts. It measures 9 points. Then stops at the back right corner. Start to print after preheating. Turn the printer off once the print starts. Put a paper under the nozzle. Slide the paper to feel the gap distance. Modify the confirmation file, if the distance is not proper. Increase the value, if the nozzle is too close. Reduce the value, if it's too far. Copy the configuration file to the SD card, then flash it. Turn on the printer, it will flash automatically. Preheat the printer, then click, Auto Level. Wait for another round. After that, start to print.
the same as last round. Turn off the printer once it starts. Then slide a paper under the nozzle. See if it is too close. So are the distance is now proper, let's print. Preheat the printer. Load the filament. Then start to print. So everything works perfectly. You are all set. You can download the project files in the description. The firmware for 407 MCU will be available soon. Thanks for watching. Happy 3D printing.